Your travel's been going all right? Told you everything about us, did he? Well, it's been a while since I've had my hands on the controls of a vertebird. There's a chance I could crash us in the middle of Lake Mead. That place seems to attract aircraft for some reason. But if I get one more chance to fly, count me in. I'll be there. My part of the passphrase is dear. I was never happier than when I was in the cockpit. I was able to go just about anywhere and everywhere, limited only by the fuel I could carry. There were more than a few missions where I took the scenic route home just so I could stay in the air. Caught hell for it every time, but worth it. Some of the things we did were questionable, I know. That's just how it was back then. Figure I've done enough good to make up for any sins, anyhow. Watch your six out there. Since my mother died, Daisy's been the only woman in my life. She was the only other woman close to my father, too. She flew him out on over a dozen missions, including his last. I've always been close to Daisy. There have been some good men along the way, but lovers make poor confidants. Daisy never had children of her own, so she was always there to listen. Being in the Enclave didn't mean much to her. She just loved to fly. It broke her heart to be grounded. As screwed up as it sounds, at least she was a part of something. Granted, it was something admittedly pretty bad, but it was something. If you spent the first half of your life flying Enclave troopers in a vertebrate, I suppose picking over pre-war rocket parts doesn't quite compare. Not much glory in the Enclave. Most of her old comrades are long gone. I know life as a salvager can't compare to being a vertebrate pilot, but at least it's a life. That has to count for something. Well, it's about damn time. What took you... Oh. I've been in the Reaper's shadow for a long time now. And I thought he'd finally showed up to collect. He's just mocking me now. There's a twitch in my trigger finger. I've lost my eagle eyes, and the other day I could have sworn I heard Sergeant Dornan chewing me out. I'm old and I'm starting to feel it. It's not pleasant, especially when you know your mind's slipping away. And we all gotta go sometime. But I was hoping for something a little more heroic. He was a drill instructor I knew. He was also the meanest bastard I've ever known. Once he caught this private out of uniform, and old Dornan went off on the most ear-blistering rant known to man. It was inspiring. Thought I recognized the fellow with you. So what's this reunion all about then? Well, now, there's an interesting idea. Do a bit of good before we're all dead and forgotten. You can count me in. Oh, and in case Arcade forgot to mention it, there's a five-word passphrase needed to get into the bunker. My word is old. Appropriate, huh? If I had to pick anyone who didn't belong in the Enclave, it would definitely be Johnson. He hated what the Enclave was doing. Day to day, week to week, he would question orders, subvert mission objectives, do anything he could to serve without serving. It's amazing he was never court-martialed. He always had good things to say about my father. Said I was like him in a lot of ways. I wish I knew. I grew up without him. I'll always feel like something is missing from my life, but you're right. It's not like I'm the only kid in the wasteland who's grown up without a dad. Johnson always said my father was a good man. If that's the only thing about me that's like him, that's enough for me. I wonder if he would. It's pointless, I know, but sometimes I wonder what he wanted me to be. Maybe being a doctor in the middle of Nevada wasn't exactly what he had in mind for his little boy. Is there something else I can do for you? I'm intrigued, so I'll go to this reunion. I'll be handing things over to Calamity, so talk to her if anything comes up. Oh, you'll need my word from the passphrase to get into the bunker. 
friends. Don't forget it. Yes, yes. Doc Henry always was a hard one to figure out. It didn't seem to matter whether he was working with humans or dogs. He had an equal lack of affection for both. A regular Diogenes. I'm not sure what the man was after. Knowledge is power, but to what end for Henry, I have no idea. The problem was what mattered to him, not its practical impact. He simply solved riddles because they existed. Not everyone dreams of being a revolutionary, I suppose. Maybe we can't all change the world. Maybe it's enough just to do good for the short time that we're here. No one's going to sing Doc Henry's praises when he's gone. But he's probably saved more lives than I ever will. I'm sure Henry has goals. He was just more concerned with the how than the why of things. Being in the Enclave didn't really mean much to him. I guess I'm lucky that I'm part of the followers. Helping people as a doctor is important, but with the followers, it feels different. It feels like we're working towards something more important. That's more than the sum of the good deeds that we do. Ugh, looks like I forgot to lock the doors again. If you're with the NCR, get out. This place is mine, and I'm not leaving. Oh, like you wouldn't believe. The NCR makes a habit out of wrecking homes. I came out here to get away from them. Didn't work out so well. Next thing I know, I'm squatting in their land. Never mind that I've already been living here for years. Do? I don't do anything. I'm retired. I was a soldier. Why do you even care? I came out here to forget about the past, so quit bringing it up. Been a while, Arcade. So, what's the point of all this? Can't find any younger mercenaries? Is that right? The million dollar question is, who exactly are we settling? I wouldn't mind cutting down a few platoons of NCR troopers with my old Gatling laser. You haven't decided. Well, this is just getting better every second, isn't it? Yeah, it does. There's not a chance you'll find me helping the NCR in any way. They've caused me too much grief. Oh, I'll come. But depending on the plan, I might not be staying. Keep that in mind. Arcade might have mentioned there's a passphrase needed to get into the bunker. My part is, remember. Heavy weapons, trooper. Nothing better than hosing down a target with an excess of bullets and laser fire. By the time I got through with things, not much was left standing. Any morons who didn't run when they saw me coming got what they deserved. Back then, it was war. If we'd been on the winning side... I'd be called a hero. <laughs> Moreno took the fall of the Enclave hard. He never questioned his orders, never questioned the legitimacy of what the Enclave was doing. To him, it was all one unbroken chain, from Washington to Richardson. When we left Navarro, I remember looking up at Moreno. He said, Kiss America goodbye, boys. When we left the Enclave behind, the love in him burned itself out. Now there's just a bitter old man left. I suppose you're right. When you're part of something for that long, maybe it's impossible to let go without losing part of yourself. Moreno may be a stubborn son of a bitch, but at least he's loyal. It's been decades, you know. By now, he's been out of the Enclave longer than he was in. Most people know when to hang it up and start over. But not Moreno. Sticking around for the attractions? Hello, Arcade. Making some new friends, are you? Why the need for a bunch of old war horses like us? Swooping in on a vertebrate, guns blazing? Haven't done that in years, but all right, I'm in. None of this means a thing if the rest of the group doesn't show up, though. Oh, and you'll need my part of the passphrase to get into the bunker. 
Navarro. It really must be bad out there if he's sending you to us. Is the idea that we swoop in by vertebrate guns blazing? I hope you weren't thinking we were going to take the lead. That's no job for a bunch of graybeards, or gray heads in Whitman's case. I'll be there at the reunion. Let's hope the others show up too, or this plan isn't going to work. Oh, and you'll need my part of the passphrase to get into the bunker. Navarro. I miss those days sometimes. We all had a purpose, you know? I admit that some of the folks in charge were pretty ruthless. The rest of us, though, we were just trying to civilize things. The NCR was still new, and it didn't look like they'd last all that long. Then we lost the oil rig, and shortly after that, the base at Novaro. Nobody left except us remnants. Internal sabotage took down the oil rig. Never did get the full story. The NCR took out Navarro, saying we posed a threat to the region. I was the officer in charge, and Johnson and Moreno were my heavy hitters. Henry handled tech things, and Whitman flew the chopper. Johnson and Moreno never got along, and I had my hands full keeping those two apart some days. It was a difference in philosophy, mostly. Mercy was not part of Moreno's vocabulary. Uh-huh. Judah Krieger is the glue that's kept us all together over the years, and with good reason. Anyone who can command Moreno and Johnson in the same unit without somebody getting fragged is one hell of a leader. Krieger was polite and kind, but never warm. He always did his best to make me feel welcome in the group. I think he did it out of a sense of loyalty to my father. Loyalty means a lot to Judah. Not loyalty to the Enclave, or even the ideals they fought for, but to the people who served with him. Sometimes I wonder how much of my father they see in me. They went through a lot together, but my family went through it too. I'm glad they've watched out for me all these years. Maybe someday I can return the favor. Oh, I know. I was only a boy when they went through hell together. I'm glad you're helping me reunite them. Even if I'm still just a spectator in all of this, I know they can still do some good. Krieger's the officer here, not me. The final say on the plan is up to him. What are you talking to me for? Talk to Krieger. We're all here. Talk to Krieger about what you've got in mind. I'm ready to fly once we've got a plan. Talk to Judah. Glad to see you made it here all right. So, who are we going up against? This was a minor refueling station for vertebrates. It seemed an appropriate place to stash our equipment if we ever needed it. I'm surprised this place hasn't fallen apart. When I put it into standby mode, I expected to return to it within a few years, not decades. Marino, Johnson, Henry and I will be the boots on the ground. Whitman will stay with the vertebrate. Then that's the plan. We're gonna have a problem with Moreno, though. He won't like that we're helping the NCR. You'll have to talk to him. You've got only one chance at this. I know Moreno. Once he's made up his mind about something, there's no changing it. I'd love to see the look on the NCR's face the NCR when is I the best down in my wasteland. chopper. I'm glad we'll be helping them out. The NCR's got its share of warts, but I'd rather have them around than the Legion. I didn't come all the way out here just so we could save the fucking NCR. I'm out. Getting my gear, what does it look like? What, you think I'm going to leave this here for someone like you? I don't think so. I can't believe you've actually talked me into this. Huh. 
Fine, I'm in. But don't expect me to hold my fire if any NCR troops get in the way. Thanks for doing this. Getting them all back together again. I'll be honest, when Moreno started going off, I didn't think we'd all be walking out of there in one piece. I still don't know how this is all gonna shake out in the end, but at least the Enclave can atone a bit for all the damage it's done. I've been wondering about Daisy and the others for so long, I still haven't figured out what I should do. I mean, I'm not like them. I was born at Navarro, and my father served with them, but I wasn't really part of the Enclave. It seems presumptuous of me to think I could join the fight, even if this is a cause worth fighting for. Because I know when fighting breaks out of the dam, all hell is going to break loose in Freeside. They're going to need every doctor they can get. I'm surprised to hear you say that. I thought you had a problem with people who hold on to the past. Suiting up to fight against Caesar with the Navarro veterans seems like... I don't know, like a kid playing dress-up in his father's clothes. True enough. Maybe I can't fill my father's shoes. I wouldn't even know how. But if following in his footsteps for a while means I can do some good out here, I'll do my best. I need to go do something. I won't be gone long, but I'll catch up with you later. Thanks for your help with the others. It means a lot to me. Like I said, I needed to go do something. This is it. It belonged to my father. Since you convinced me to help out with the defense of Hoover Dam, I figured I'd haul it out of storage. I'm a little rusty with it, but I think I can manage. As long as you got my back, of course. What's up? I don't think you need to worry about the specifics. Basically, expect a lot of firepower and dead bodies. Enclave technology is even more advanced than Brotherhood equipment. And in the hands of soldiers as experienced as Moreno and the others, let's just say it's truly a sight to behold. See you around. Hold on a second. I need to talk to you about something else. I've been wondering about Daisy and the others for so long, I still haven't figured out what I should do. I mean, I'm not like them. I was born at Navarro, and my father served with them, but I wasn't really part of the Enclave. It seems presumptuous of me to think I could join the fight, even if this is a cause worth fighting for. Because I know when fighting breaks out of the dam, all hell is going to break loose in Freeside. They're going to need every doctor they can get. I figured you'd say that. Sometimes staying put is the best thing you can do. I'll leave the fighting to the old war horses. It's what they were made for. I need to go take care of something before I set up at Freeside. I'll see you soon. And again, thanks for your help with the others. Like I said, I needed to go do something. This is it. It belonged to my father. I thought I might wear it at Hoover Dam. But after you talked me out of it, I didn't see the point in hanging on to it any longer. I'm here because of you, so I figure you're the one most deserving of it. It should protect you from everything short of a plasma caster. And if you need anything, anything at all, you know where to find me. It's the least I could do. All I ask is that you put it to good use. This place has lived in the shadow of Caesar for long enough. I may not be the one to help stop him here, but you are. Fortis fortuna adiuat. Good luck. And goodbye.